Dearest Amy, since the day we met, I've always known that you were a special person. Up until that day, I'd spent many years wondering if someone would come into my life that would make me feel what I perceive as true love. On that day, I walked into Exotic prepared to drive fast in a Lamborghini, not prepared to meet the love of my life. This has been, and I'm sure will continue to be, the best day of my life until tomorrow when I wake up next to you and I remember that I'm your wife. Then that will be the best day of my life. The kind of love that Amy and Matt share is the kind that you can read about in the timeless love stories that are written in the novels on your tables. It's the kind that will make your heart smile just by being a witness to it. When Matt first told me about meeting Amy, I had a cautious optimism only because she sounded so wonderful. I just wanted it to work out the best it could. He told me her family was Italian and that she loved cars and she does happen to share the same first name as my wife. And at that point I thought, well, that's it, she's the one. Uh, but then I met her and she was really the nicest, sweetest brunette ray of sunshine out there. Then I really started thinking to myself, ooh, Matt, do not mess this up. <laughs> and quite naturally, thankfully, he didn't. first impression of Amy. He described her as extremely beautiful, classy, and unlike any girl he had ever met. My favorite response, however, was the one I got when I asked Matt what his definition of happily ever after is. He said, and I quote, a picture popped into my head of hanging out with Amy, old and gray, just like one of those awesomely cute couples that you see that love each other so much after 50 plus years of marriage. 